much one left? Nah, you're it. Sweet. What about this one, too? We could be a champion. And he's got balls, too. Don't get attached to him. If I get him to win, can I keep him? Get in. You're all right. It's like a monsoon. Get in. I don't need you. It's not exactly the Hilton Hotel, but it's better than nothing. Ma! And where are you going? I don't have to explain myself to you. Yes, you do. So what do you call him? The Moody Kelp. Ah, uh, the mythical Irish warrior. Same one. That fella doesn't do the business. There won't be a next guy. We'll show him some. We'll show him. The dog flew. What? A ball speed. Be sweet to Betty. Good doggy man. Never bet against his dog. Come on, Kelp! Like the uniform? Thinking about going back to university. You were never at university. You're a liar! <gasps> this isn't a date. Don't tell me. Are you still getting married? He doesn't love them dogs. If you can't love an old dog, can't love nothing. No! You're alive, weren't you? Never thought like that. Maybe you should. Yes! Yes! So tell us about the, the idea behind the Mighty Celt, first of all. Is it an autobiographical story, or is it...? I can't... It's being touted as that, but, I mean, ultimately, like, most of these stories are, like, you know what I mean? It's... Ultimately, it is a story. I did work on a greyhound farm when right. I was Tyrone's age, you know, all but... Right, yeah. But, I mean, the likes of the characters of Good Joe and, and uh, Owen and Kate are all, all fabrications or, or amalgamations of people mm -hmm. I've, met, or, uh, I've met over the last few years. And right. Kind of, Concocted, you know. All right. Now they say in the business as well, never work with animals or kids. You had both. Wa was it difficult? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it was in a way. Like, but uh, like, you know, Tyrone's a great kid. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Was very responsive and and put in a very good performance. The dogs and I were completely <laughs> different. You know, there's times when they're laying sleeping and there's be. There was a great scene with Ken Stat was where the camera's only on Ken. Uh huh. Ken's going, look, supposed to be looking at the dog, a reaction shot going, oh, he's a ball of speed. He looks like he can really run. But I looked him, when I was looking through the monitor and the dog was laying asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I mean, we well, had our ups and downs, but at the end of the day, we had three dogs. We had a stunt dog, we had, mm -hmm. we had our happy dog and our a sad dog, you know. All right, it's okay. Now, pretty impressive cast as well, Robert Carlyle and Gillian Anderson. How did you persuade Gillian Anderson to do this? Her name came up in the casting list, and then we sent her the script, and she responded very strongly mm -hmm. to the script. She wanted to do the film, right. you know. Uh -huh. And certainly it wasn't for the money. <laughs> <laughs> and was she easy to work with? She was, you know, consummate pro, you yeah. know. She's been, you know, I mean, all those years doing TV, you know, she doesn't make mistakes. Two or three takes and it's done, you know, right. it's great. How long did it take her to get the Belfast accent? She was working on all the guy, I would say about six, six weeks. Right, yeah. She had that. Uh, it's two very good voice, or sorry, it's two very good dialogue coaches here. One's called Brendan Gunn, mm -hmm. and the other girl's an English girl called Jill McCullough. Uh, Brendan Gunn was on set, she was very reassured by Brendan being there, you know. Mm -hmm. <coughs> she kind of, but and that, me and her went out a couple of times, you know, she would have been ordering. Like order meals in the oh, yeah. Belfast Billy X. Try and get them a good crack. <laughs> now, in, in recent years, when you've seen some Northern Ireland films, and um, sometimes they're, they're not shot here, they go away to England and shoot, it was important for you to actually film it in Belfast as was set in Belfast? Well, for the authenticity, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Failing, you know. Yeah. I kind of like, I think that if you're telling these stories, it's important that these stories are kind of set where they're meant to be, you know, as opposed to. Um, there's a lot of films getting shot in the rings in, mm -hmm. kind of double here, but that's old Belfast, that isn't the Belfast that is now, you know. All right. How hard is it for local filmmakers from Northern Ireland to actually get their movies made these days? How hard is it? Mm -hmm. I think if you get the right script, mm -hmm. right project, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard, you know, but you've kind of, 
we've kind of had a history of not so great projects, yes, not so great yeah. scripts, you know. You all right, mister? Up your pawn. I know you. Where's our Brandy's commemoration? That's right, you must be Kate's kid. Don't know. Hey. There you go, small world, eh? What one? Hey, all right. Bad for your health. You're not the one that can't walk up with your hell. It's the Black Mountain. Was it difficult to, to work with animals? Um, Lance had a like trainer on set with him and they told me what to do. Like my parents told me what to do, he has bad experience with animals. And um made it easy so it's pretty much easy now. And did you like dogs before you did the movie? Uh <laughs> I like dogs. <laughs> do you have any pets yourself? Um, I've had loads of pets but they all run away. <laughs> what kind of pets have you had? Um Lizards and birds. Quite a pea pe pe cut now. Right, okay. <laughs> Would you like a greyhound now? Oh, I like greyhounds. They're friendly dogs and learn. Ah. Oh, nice. Great stuff. Well, Tyrone, thank you for doing this. Okay. And uh, good luck with whatever the, the future brings.